<laughs> Hi guys, welcome Hi. to this week's vlog. We, today we start the vlog here at the Poblet Monastery. This afternoon we go to the Ebro Delta, we will stay there some days and after we go to the Roman city of Tarragona. Right, so enjoy this vlog. We're Anna and Eve and this is our self-converted fan Boris. Together we're looking forward to epic adventures and we're glad you want to come with us. So buckle up, it's going to be a heck of a ride. Monastery, and um, it's Italian monks from France who came here and conquered it from the Moors. It looks like we are the only visitors here today in this monastery. This place is completely deserted, apart from some monks working or tending the gardens. We have the World Heritage site, so there's not a lot of people here. Almost anything. First, buy our tickets. This room used to be the winery. Uh, yeah, maybe you can still smell the alcohol, but uh, you can stack a few bottles here. In the 14th century, it was a winery. And the sound of this room. This abbey in Catalonia is one of the largest in Spain. The majestic monastery, which has a fortified royal residence and contains the pantheon of the kings of Catalonia and Aragon, is an impressive sight. The museum located inside the abbey shows original pieces of art which are still well preserved. Definitely worth a detour. Yeah, really nice place. Impressive monastery. So back to the van. Start the engine and drive to the Ebro Delta. From the Poblet Monastery, it's only a one and a half hour drive to the Ebro Delta, 125 kilometers south. The Ebro Delta is situated in the southwest of the province of Tarragona. just arrived at our new spot. The farm. The farm in the delta of the Ebro, the Ebro River. Yeah. And actually we feel at home because we're in the middle of the rice paddies, just like we used to live in Ayutthaya, Thailand. It's very strange to see rice paddies in Europe. And Anne already made some friends. Yeah. Hello YouTube, hello YouTube. Just 
left the farm and going to walk towards the river. In the middle of the rice paddies, left to the right. Now we're back. Rice paddies. This is really a unique piece of nature. On one side we have the rice paddies, on the other side the Ebro. And the place where we're staying, the farm, is in the middle of the delta. Sound of the birds, sound of the wind through the leaves. Happy faces all around. The Ebro Delta is the largest wetland in Catalonia and a unique natural setting. It has been shaped by the Ebro River which gives the delta its unmistakable, sublime, horizontal landscape. Hey you! Yes, you. Well, that's what's on the menu tonight. Well, sopa de verduras. Oh, sopa de verduras. Si, con cuya. So, we have a lot of beans, mushrooms, uh, pepper, onion, and a potato. Right, it's quite windy outside. We closed all the doors of the van, hide inside, have a soup. Yeah. That will be perfect for tonight, to warm up a little bit and relax. But we... But? What we did? We first had a shower. Ah, uh, <laughs> we enjoyed our shower. Even oh. when it's coo uh, cooler outside. Hot water. We loved it. Despite the wind, we both enjoyed the shower. Yeah. Oh. Look here. Oh la la. <laughs> Wintery soup and some fresh bread. Food for the body and soul. <laughs> and soul. Made with love. Nice. Just finished our dinner and uh, I'm going to show you the multifunctional shower slash bathroom slash kitchen. You can do everything with a bath and a shower. Yeah. This is a fantastic creature. You know I keep on saying it but after every oh. corner, after every bush, there's a new site, like here the Ebro River. Before so the rice fields we have all... On the left is the Ebro, on the right are the rice paddies. But today uh, we won't, don't know what we're going to do. We well today we know already. In the afternoon we go to the beach probably for another walk, but uh, yeah. tomorrow we don't know where Boris will bring us tomorrow. We were planning to go to Tarragona, but we will see. We don't know yet. First laundry. First laundry tomorrow morning and after that we'll see. Oh what a day. It's so nice to walk here. Between the rice paddies, wild, small water alleys or waterways. It's a relaxing place. We took the van and drove a few kilometers to the beach. Going to walk along the Mediterranean. But uh, first time for a coffee. It's a beautiful sunny and hot day today. Beach of Rio Mar. Rio Mar. The end of the peninsula. 
made belt by the Ebro. Going for a little stroll along the sea after lunch. And maybe, maybe later today. Going for a swim? Going for a swim. At the end of the Ibro Delta, near the sleepy town of Rio Mar, lie these beautiful sandy beaches. So we're back from the beach, uh, did some grocery shopping and bought a watermelon. Yeah, so it's almost a seedless one. We're lucky, almost seedless. Watermelon juice. Salty? No, no. Mm. So refreshing. Mm, very good. And we have our fruits for the day already. Nutritious. Nutritious. Healthy. Healthy. Refreshing. Instant happiness. Before we move on to our next destination, it's laundry day. Laundry day. A very heavy bag. After two weeks on the road, we could no longer postpone this job. Now laundry is done and our vlog is uploaded. So time to hit the road again, going north, mm -hmm. north of Tarragona to the beach where we probably will meet our friends of Northern Stories again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this means dinner parties. Yeah. <laughs> they were going to leave this morning and come to our last camp spot at the farm yeah. so we were going to swap but they stayed yeah. because it's so good here sharing is caring it's good to share it's good to share nice places with yeah, that's each right. other eh? don't keep them for yourself no. share them beautiful. so everyone can benefit of this the beautiful world is spot a beautiful place when you share with other people <laughs> After arriving, we took a walk on the beach of Torre d'Ambara, a very peaceful place. Torre d'Ambara is a small town nestled on Catalonia's Costa Dorada, near Tarragona. We can't leave the beachfront without drinking a glass of cava. Love is the answer. And to close the night, we have another dinner party with our friends of Neuland Stories. Sharing food with other travelers is great. We miss this so much during COVID times. It's early. Woke up early for the sunrise. <laughs> Not that early.
morning guys this morning we woke up very early first to see the sunrise and we make a day trip to Tarragona also to have a vegan brunch there Madam wants a vegan brunch Madam gets a vegan brunch I have to give in as usual yes 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 but I'm looking forward to it we left the Novra Lambla behind us and in an instant we are in a different city nice this old car Tarragona is a port city in the northeast of Catalonia. Many ancient ruins remain from its time as the Roman colony of Tarraco, stand among the alleys of the walled medieval old town. can go out dining again. El Vergel, a vegan restaurant in the old quarter, the highlight of our day. First we have the cava with fresh orange juice. I never had this before but it's really delicious. We are still after the dessert and coffee. It's becoming embarrassing the amount of food they serve us. I'll try. It's but flavors, it's salt, all this. Mm, chocolate. My favorite food is the chocolate. My drug. Mm. Finally, the last course. No scone, but a cookie with blueberries, and this is going to be a bomb. Ooh. overlooking the sea. After a long day of day tripping in Tarragona, we're back at the same spot where we left this morning. Very tired. Both very tired, especially me, I think. And is making a scrambled tofu with oysters, mushrooms and a tomato. We bought a delicious looking loaf of bread. <coughs> you think we're going to make it an early night? Yeah. Watch a TV show on Netflix and that's about it. Am I right? Yeah, all right, always. Tired. <laughs> uh, actually, we expected more of Tarragona. The lunch or the brunch was spot on, was really, yeah. really good. Uh, the old quarter was nice, some nice streets, small, but uh, kind of disappointed in the Roman Empire. relics. <laughs> the amphitheater, the wall, the circus wasn't that impressive anymore. No. Well, Eve is still working on the next vlog. It's time to pack up our things and leave Torre d'Ambarra, where we stayed four days. Next, we go to Barcelona to check out the vegan food scene. I hope you liked this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you next week. See you next Sunday.